Uh, breaking news here, we are seeing unconfirmed reports of airstrikes in Syria, so we wanted to come on the air and give you the latest as to what's going on. These are all unconfirmed reports right now, but there are a number of reports out there saying that there have been airstrikes on Syria. Now, uh, all unconfirmed at this point, but let me just show you some of the posts we're seeing. Um, <clears throat> John Atterbury uh, who's somebody who's verified, who was retweeted by the Intel crab, says explosions heard in the vicinity of T4 Air Base in Homs. Now, these are all unconfirmed reports right now, nothing official, but just showing you what you're hearing right now. Is it possible that we're seeing an attack um, <clears throat> on Syria right now? Uh, let me show you some other stuff I've been seeing. Again, everything unconfirmed right now, but a number of different reports coming in. Um, Conflict News is saying we are monitoring reports of an attack on TIAS military air base. Uh, they are also saying this is unverified footage purporting to show projectiles in the sky over Lebanon. Let's watch this. Unverified. This is unconfirmed, but there are a large number of these reports coming out. So we want to try and figure out if this is actually happening or not. Um, Intel Crab, which is pretty reliable, says unconfirmed U.S. firing TLAM strikes into targets within Syria. That would be, uh, TLAM, would, I, would that be some sort of missile? Let me look this up. TLAM. Oops, sorry. TLAM. Uh, Tomahawk missile. Uh, so we have unconfirmed reports now of also Tomahawk missile strikes. I want to change the name of, uh, of the broadcast of uh, uh, unconfirmed or, or the d d uh, airstrikes and missile strikes. I'm just updating the broadcast so people know what they're watching. Syria missile strikes. Syria missiles. Sorry, I was just updating the um, the uh, the. Um, event information. So we're, we're hearing reports of airstrikes and missile strikes. Again, unconfirmed. I'm going to uh, put this now. Missile strikes in Syria. So we're hearing reports of, that's from the unconfirmed, unconfirmed reports of airstrikes and missile strikes in Syria. Right now, we're getting you the latest information we can get you. Hang on one sec as I continue to go through here. Uh, this is also unconfirmed, unconfirmed from Paul uh, An Antonopoulos, who's a research fellow at the Center for Syncretic Studies, which I know nothing about. Uh, they, he says Syrian air defense has intercepted some missiles. Unconfirmed, by the way, this is all unconfirmed. By the way, uh, Batfly, thank you for the support, uh, for the donation. We really appreciate that. That's what keeps us on the air. Hang on, I'm just uh, getting the periscope feed up. So, lots of reports coming out right now. This has all just happened in the last few minutes. These unconfirmed, unconfirmed reports, all unconfirmed um, uh, reports. Uh, now, this is a very unreliable site, I'll show you. News Alert HQ is not very reliable. They have some reports saying, uh, well, about 40 minutes ago, there were a lot of reports and some videos put out of loud aircraft noise of aircraft crossing over Lebanon on the way to Syria. So I've seen a number of those reports, a lot of those reports. But these last couple from News, News Alert HQ, I, I, these are unconfirmed. They say Syrian media reporting that missile attacks are believed to be from the U.S. Uh, State-owned Sana'a says the T-4 Tayas military air base is under attack. Unconfirmed. Uh, DEFCON warning system uh, is also saying Syrian television reports military attack in Syria claims U.S. source of attack working to verify. Could this be a similar attack? Last April, there, President Trump launched a missile strike, uh, of, I believe it was around 59 Tomahawk missiles against, against Syria. Could this be something similar? Could this be a similar uh, missile strike on Syria? And will we be hearing from the U.S. military about it? If this is happening, it's all unconfirmed at this point. But uh, we're hearing lots of these reports right now. And hang on one second. I'm going to get you some more news in one sec here. I'm just, uh, 
I like to have the TV on in the background as well to see if they're reporting anything new in addition to all my other sources. Okay, uh, so I am right now looking and seeing Fox News has not gone live with it yet. Uh, CNN is showing a uh, documentary on the Kennedys. Uh, thank you, Trump Sword and uh, Kent Deppner. Kent Deppner made a donation and said, now it's about damn time. And Trump Sword said, thank you, RSBN. God bless the United States of America and Israel. So this is all unconfirmed right now. And thank you also, uh, Captain Crunch said, great job covering, covering these breaking news stories. So this is all unconfirmed right now, but multiple reports of airstrikes, missile strikes going on in Syria right now. Uh, Joyce Karam uh, who is reliable, says Syria regime outlets saying T4 regime military airport in Homs under attack by missiles. So I'm seeing many more missile uh, attack, uh, missile reports than airstrike reports. I guess airstrike, uh, I'm going to change the name of uh, the, the broadcast for a second. Sorry, I'm just uh, updating things so people searching n can find us. Uh, okay, there, that's better. Sorry, just getting this. Uh, we like to have the information up to date on the video. That way, if people say, you know, Google it or go on YouTube and look, they can actually find the video. So these are unconfirmed reports coming in. Uh, but Joyce Karam reports, and she's pretty reliable. She says, she's quite reliable. She says, Syria regime outlets saying that T4 regime military airport in Homs under attack by missiles suspected to be American. That's a, she's a very reliable source. So at least the Syria media is saying they're under U.S. missile attack. Uh, BNO News, BNO News says, um, oh, let me show you this. This is a footage of, um, uh, somebody took earlier that I saw posted earlier, which was a footage of either a jets or projectiles flying over Lebanon, supposedly en route to Syria. Let me show you this video. be a missile flying through the air and not a jet. Uh, those videos like, like that were posted like around a half hour ago. And then uh, BNO News also says missile strike on military airport in Syria could be part of a U.S. attack, state news agency says. No comment from the U.S. military yet. Uh, Robert Reinier says God bless the USA. And Margaret Kahn says uh, something about Schaefer Cox. I don't know, Margaret Kahn, that's not on the point of the, uh, on the, uh, of the topic tonight, but uh, thank you both for supporting Right Side Broadcasting. We appreciate it. So, again, many reports now in of missile strikes on Syria. Uh, and uh, the, now it's interesting, Joyce Karam had tweeted out, who I really find, she's very reliable. She said Syria TV saying T4 regime military airport in Homs under attack by missiles, suspected to be American. But the tweet from Sky News Arabia has now been deleted. So we're still in the stage right now where these are unconfirmed reports. We have no confirmation here. A lot of reports. It could turn out to be a false alarm. We don't know. Chef Maga, thank you for supporting RSB, RSBN. Appreciate it. So we're really trying to find out whether this is actually happening right now. Uh, Intel Crab retweeted Hassan Hassan. Hassan Hassan is a, a senior fellow at Time PDC, a columnist and a best-selling author. He says Syrian media sources confirm you know, for whatever that's worth, that airstrikes hit the T-4 airbase in Homs near Palmyra. Uh, he also says, it's now confirmed officially by Syrian media, un yet, unclear yet the extent and source of the attack. The T-4 airbase is, is an Iranian outpost in central Syria, part of the corridor from Syria to Iraq. So again, we are seeing multiple reports, unconfirmed, nothing from the U.S. government yet, uh, of... Uh, of attacks on Syria, missile strikes. Now, here's this though. News, this could be, look at this. 
Uh, News Alert HQ, who is not that reliable, they say White House official denies the reports that U.S. conducting strike strikes on Syria. So this could all be, you know, we could five minutes from now, this could turn out to be a false alarm. All I can tell you is that we've had a number of sources saying that Syrian media has been saying there is a missile attack uh, that's been happening uh, on some uh, on a on a. Syrian base or multiple Syrian bases uh, in Syria, but we don't know that yet. So I'm just really throwing stuff out here that I'm seeing. Uh, David Begnod from CBS says, CBS News is working to confirm this report. Uh, BNO News said a military airport in Syria under attack, state media reports, uh, after jets or missiles are seen flying over, over, over flying Lebanon. So, but we have no confirmation of this yet, no confirmation whatsoever. So we're, I'm just showing you the reports here. Uh, let's see here. Express UK is saying uh, airstrike on Syria reports of fighter jets and military missiles over Lebanon. We still don't know. Uh, it seems uh, the earthquake whisperer uh, made a donation, said, trolls told me not to donate, so I'm donating. Thank you, earthquake whisperer. We appreciate that. Um, I, I really think that the the cause. So what happened is I started seeing reports about 20 minutes ago. There were a number of reports saying we're hearing something fly over Lebanon and several videos came out of noise of either jets or missiles. It sounded like flying over Lebanon. Uh, so here's an example of one of those videos. I showed it to you before and you can hear it. Looks like you can see a light in the sky there of something flying over, you know, whatever that is. Now, I saw these reports, and when I saw them, I was like, hmm, well, maybe that's, you know, that could be Russian jets. That could be Lebanese jets. That, that doesn't necessarily mean there's an airstrike going on. And about 15 minutes after these videos started coming out, I started seeing different reports of explosions. Uh, but we have no confirmation that... There is an attack ongoing or that has happened tonight. We're just, we've seen a number of reports saying the Syrian media says there's been an attack. We can't confirm that there has been. Uh, Light Switch, thank you for your donation. So, um, so we're just waiting to, to try to confirm this. Uh, no word yet from the U.S. government. Uh, Israel news feed, somewhat reliable. They're not a major news outlet. They say explosions blast as Syrian military airport has been bombed by possible U.S. or Israel airstrikes. They might be working off the Syrian media reports. So no confirmation yet. Now, look, DEFCON warning system, very, they're, I mean, they're quite reliable. They're not perfectly reliable. Look what they say. The United States says they have not launched an attack against Syria at this time. Um, you know, Sometimes there are false alarms. Sometimes, um, you know, I've seen situations where, like, there's anti-aircraft fire and people hear explosions and people report, oh, there's explosions, and it turns out there was a false alarm and there was, there was some anti-aircraft fire but no explosions. So it's possible that when these videos started coming out about 20 minutes ago of aircraft flying over Lebanon or aircraft or projectiles projectiles flying over Lebanon, uh, rumors started going around and who knows, maybe people heard things in Syria. We did see reports saying Syrian media, uh, I saw some reputable sources saying Syrian media was reporting there was some kind of strike going on, hasn't been confirmed. Uh, I don't know where DEFCON warning system is getting this information, however. I'm seeing lots of information without, which is unsourced. So I'm just telling you what I'm seeing right now. Uh, and uh, I'm trying to get some more... Uh, Oh, who's this? Dion Nissenbaum. Wall Street Journal reporter uh, Dion Nissenbaum says Pentagon officials say there is no truth, no truth to reports that U.S. has launched an attack against Assad bases in Syria. So Pentagon is denying this. They are denying it right now. That's from the Wall Street Journal's Dion Nissenbaum. So it could turn out this is a false alarm. I personally would be surprised if there was an attack launched, if there's going to be an attack, before the United, Stations, the United Nations Security Council meets on this tomorrow. They're supposed to meet on Syria tomorrow. So when I first heard this news, I was like, wow, are they going to launch an attack before the United Nations Security Council meets on this? Um, but uh, the Pentagon, according to Wall Street Journal's Dion Nissenbaum, bomb. The Pentagon is now denying reports of an attack against Assad bases in Syria. So that's important. Uh, let's, uh, let's keep looking and see if we can find more information here. But that certainly is, uh, is important, uh, an important message there. Um, 
Let's see if I can find anything else. Uh, let's see. I'm looking here. Of course, uh, none of the news channels, I think, has gone live on this at all. They're all showing their Sunday night documentaries and uh, other stuff that they show on and pre-taped programming. But we are covering this for you live here at Right Side Broadcasting. Again, the latest I can tell you is that Wall Street Journal's Dion Nissenbaum is saying Pentagon officials say there is no truth to the reports. So there are reports, but Pentagon officials are saying there is no truth to reports the U.S. has launched an attack against Assad bases in Syria. Uh, and uh, to repeat, if you're just joining the stream, this, uh, 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 where this might have started is a number of videos that came out about 25 minutes ago or so where people had supposedly spotted uh, aircraft or missiles flying, they thought, you know, flying over Lebanon. So uh, there were a number of videos posted about this. Let's see if I can find one of them for you. And uh, I wonder if that's kind of where this all started and then the rumors started taking off. Uh, so here's, here's one. Uh, a Conflict News had posted this one. We showed you this before. Unconfirmed, unverified footage purporting to show projectiles and skies over Lebanon. Now, there could have been like just a, some sort of military jets flying over there on a, some sort of routine mission or something. So, um, but uh, we're not, you know, as of right now, uh, U.S. government is just saying this is not happening. Now, RT... I think post Russian media posted something about this. Yeah. So look, this is this is Russian media. OK, now you can't. RT is owned by the Russian government. They said RT said three minutes ago, Syrian air defenses respond to missile attack on air base in Homs state media. So Russian media is reporting that Syrian media said it's responding to a missile attack. Uh, so. So I'm going to tweet this out uh, from Russian government-owned media. So take this as you will. But they, I mean, so RT said air defenses respond. Syria says air defenses. Syri RT is saying state media of Syria said they're responding to a missile attack. Now, maybe the Syria state media really did say this, and maybe the Syria state media was incorrect. So we don't know at this point. We're trying to get more answers. Uh, David Begnod says CBS News is working, is still working to verify the initial report of some sort of attack. In the meantime, he also quotes Dion Nissenbaum from the Wall Street Journal, who said Pentagon officials say there's no truth to the rumors reports that U.S. has launched an attack against Assad bases in Syria. Now, here's a video now, this is just, this is completely unconfirmed. Uh, the source is unconfirmed, but I'm showing you this video because a number of these kinds of unconfirmed videos have been coming out tonight. So this person, uh, Lana Medwar, who's a senior news presenter of Al Mayadeen News, of which I don't really know anything about, she had posted this video. Did you? which looks like it's of a projectile or, or a jet. So again, uh, a number of these videos came out about 40, 45 minutes ago of people in Lebanon who had seen uh, jets or projectiles flying overhead. Look, for all you know, it was just normal military action with jets. I don't know. Uh, so we're trying to figure that out right now. Uh, Daring Daver made a donation, said, great job, Steve. RSBN is the news network to watch for breaking events. Um, well, we, we want to just, we, we do commit to, you know, 
giving you the latest updates here. And it's again, it's another case here where this is going on. But as far as I can tell, all the mainstream media networks literally haven't broken into their Sunday night, um, their Sunday night uh, documentary and pre-taped show coverage. But we're doing it here. We're covering it for you here. So I'm just checking the different mainstream media channels. And uh, we are committed to doing that for you and bringing you the latest updates here whenever it happens. Uh, Linda Bell made a donation, said, having RSBN as a news source is important for breaking news. Thank you. Thank you, Linda. Uh, you guys keep us on the air, so we appreciate your support. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if I can find you anything more. Uh, BNO News says, U.S. military says it's not behind the attack on a military airport in Syria. So lots of unconfirmed reports. Uh, good post by DEF CON warning system. As a reminder, be wary of first two reports. Too many people are more concerned about being the first to report rather than being first to report accurately. Here, here. Although I'm very interested in knowing, did the Syrian media actually come out with some report that they were being attacked uh, and people worked off that and then maybe it turned out that that report wasn't true. Because I've seen several reports saying Syrian media says there's, there was a missile strike. So, for example, uh, so Joyce Karam, who is quite, uh, quite responsible and reliable, she works um, at the National UAE. Uh, she had posted Syria regime outlets were saying that T4 regime military airport in Homs was under attack by missiles. And she's quoting, she reads Arabic, so she's quoting this source, uh, Al Hadath, which has 6.8, 6.38 million followers. I think Al Hadath is at a news organization. Let me see. Uh, it's an Arabic weekly newspaper in Amman, Jordan, and they have you know over six million followers. And they had said, I guess, from what Joyce Karam is saying. Uh, Al Hadath had said that according to the Syrian regime, uh, there were, it was a missile attack going on. So she reported that, but the Pentagon is denying there's any attack right now going on. We're just trying to get you the latest information on this. Okay, here's something else. Uh, Ola Salem, who's a British. Egyptian journalist, she said pro-regime Syrian channel reports an aggression on T4 airfield with several strikes likely to be by the U.S. Meanwhile, Pentagon officials deny any U.S. involvement. So this here is uh, supposedly a pro-regime Syrian channel claiming, claiming there's some kind of attack on an airfield going on, but the Pentagon is denying it. So... That's where we are right now. We're hearing some reports uh, saying Syrian state media is saying there's an attack going on, but we don't know. Let's see if I can find you new information here. You're watching Right Side Broadcasting is live, continuing coverage of the unconfirmed reports of some sort of airstrike, missile strike in Syria. Uh, if you hear anything new, give me a shout on Twitter, at Lookner, at L-O-O-K-N-E-R. Let me know. Uh, Polo Lavish made a donation. Polo Lavish says, Iran attacked Syria. They want a reason to fight us. I've heard nothing about Iran attacking Syria, Polo, but we really appreciate your donation because uh, your donations keep us on the air. Thank you. Uh, I'm just checking different sources here, trying to find uh, more recent updates for you. Again, uh, Wall Street Journal, Dion Nussenbaum, Nissenbaum, he says Pentagon officials say there is no truth to reports that U.S. has launched an attack against Assad bases in Syria. Uh, 
Uh, Laura Rosen, who's a reporter, a foreign policy reporter, she said she was told military airport reportedly struck in Eastern Homes overnight was launch point for a drone that entered Israel a few weeks ago. This is interesting. Uh, this is a very interesting tweet. She said a military airport reportedly struck in Eastern Homs overnight was launch point for a drone that entered Israel a few weeks ago. So is it possible? Could we have seen some sort of Israeli military strike in Syria tonight that was mistaken for a U.S. strike? Certainly Israel has attacked targets in Syria before that they thought were threatening. So that could have, could have been what happened. I'm saying, hmm. Any chance this was an Israeli strike on Syria tonight? They've done it before. So that's, you know... Let's say that let's say Israel, you know, they have struck different targets in Syria before. If they thought that there was some threat and they fired some missiles at it or launched an airstrike tonight on that specific threat, that could easily be mistaken for an American attack. So that's another theory out there, too. Very quite interesting. Thank you to someone made a donation uh, to right side. Um, Robert Rainier. Thank you, Robert. He says watching WrestleMania and right side. What a night. Uh, Oak 1971 made a donation and said false flags are false. Thank you both. So very interesting. I'm, I'm wondering if there could have been an Israeli strike tonight that was mistaken for uh, a U.S. strike. Uh, so look, uh, so Michael Weiss, who... Uh, reports on Middle East stuff a lot and terrorism stuff. Uh, he says, uh, America denies if true, likely Israel. So, and if it's an Israel strike, that doesn't even have to be related to chemical weapons. Israel sometimes will have a strike on Syria if it feels like it's being threatened by Syria in some sort of way, or if somebody's doing something in Syria that they feel is, you know, uh, uh, directed towards attacking Israel eventually. They, they've had different limited strikes uh, in Syria, Israel has, over the last, I mean, I just remember in the last year seeing once in a while reports of Israel launches some sort of strike in Syria. So it's possible, it's possible this was another one of those kind of typical once in a while Israel strikes on Syria tonight that was mistaken for a U.S. strike. And if you look at the geography... Let's look, let's get a map up here. So there is, you can see here, Syria, Israel, uh, Lebanon. I mean, some people had posted videos like 45 minutes ago of something flying over Lebanon, be it a jet or a missile or both or whatever. It's certainly possible that what they saw was uh, uh, missiles or planes from Israel going towards Syria to attack a target in Syria. Possible. Because we're hearing nothing now from the U.S. about this. BBC is saying uh, strikes hit Syrian airfield, but where are they getting, getting this from? Uh, it's, it's, it's Syrian state media reports. So Syrian state media is reporting that airstrikes hit a, hit, a, hit a Syrian military airport with loud explosions, according to Syrian state media. Syrian state media reports, says BBC, strikes at Syrian airfield. We're trying to figure out if this is true, and if true, who launched them? Israel, maybe? U.S.? We don't know. U.S. is denying everything. Uh, very interesting here. Uh, Intel Crab posts this. Rumored footage of possible cruise missile interceptions over the skies of Syria. Uh, let's watch this video. Why am I not hearing volume? Maybe there's no volume on it. Okay, you'll see it in a sec. Okay, there's something. 
Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Coming. All right. Thing flying. Flying over. Are we going to see a somewhat in a, some sort of interception there? Maybe. I'm waiting. Well, this video was sort of a disappointment. I didn't see anything. I just saw something flying through the air. Anyway, sorry. Uh, thank you for... Um, the donation, Oak1971, who says, What is Aleppo? And Margaret Kahn says, And the deep state, and the FED, and the CIA, and the FBI, get our country back. Free Schaefer Cox. Margaret, I have no idea what that means, uh, but thank you for the donation. Also, why my chat, I'm looking at the YouTube chat, it just says, it says slow mode is on. Why is that? Oh, and they, uh, they just disabled our chat for the live stream, I think. Is that true? Did they disable our chat? Wow. Uh, YouTube just disabled our chat. I have to tell Joe. who's our CEO. YouTube just disabled the chat for the live stream. Unbelievable. Sorry, I'm just telling my boss this happened. Unreal. So we apologize. People were chatting in the live stream and YouTube and YouTube all of a sudden with no announcement whatsoever literally just disabled the chat. They, and they never told us they were doing it. So we apologize to people watching on YouTube. Oh, is the chat back now? It's back. Okay. It was disabled before. Now it's back. Okay. We, we, we apologize. Yeah. Sorry. It, it was disabled before. Let me tell Joe. It's back now. Okay. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be uh it wouldn't be out of uh, the uh realm of what YouTube does. All right. So, anyways, uh let me um let me uh hold on, my boss just Okay, good. We're back. Uh so let me just get you the latest info here if there's more info here. We're trying to figure out if a strike happened and if so, uh if so, who did it? The Intel Crab says a senior U.S. defense official claims there have been no explosions at any military base within Syria. That's a stronger claim. Now, I don't know where Intel Crab is getting the source. They're getting it from uh, AJA Breaking, AJA Breaking, Al Jazeera Arabic. So Al Jazeera Arabic is reporting this. That would be a stronger claim than uh, U.S. No, no U.S. strike. That's uh, no explosions, but I, I can't be sure, you know, why am I only seeing that from Al Jazeera Arabic at this point? Uh, Syrian State TV is saying this researcher from Germany, Nigdal Gazui, uh, Nigdal Nidal, Nidal, Nidal Ghazawi, Nidal Ghazawi, he said, I don't know if he's watching Syrian state media, he's saying Syrian air defense, according to Syrian state TV, they're saying their air defense intercepted eight missiles fired on a base. Uh, now, maybe they didn't, maybe they're lying, I don't know, uh, but that's, we've been hearing different reports saying Syrian state media is claiming that there was a military base attacked with missiles in Syria tonight. Uh, Pentagon has denied it. Um, okay, here's, uh, here's from, C from CNN's, uh, CNN's Mohammed Taufik just reported this. M Mohammed Taufik of CNN says a senior administration official tells CNN reports tonight from the region claiming U.S. Tomahawk missiles have struck targets in Syria are not true. That doesn't mean there hasn't been an attack. There could have been some sort of Israeli attack. They do attack Syria once in a while. Uh, uh, so we're trying to find out if there was an attack or not. But uh, a senior administration official tells CNN no U.S. Tomahawk missile strike. Christine Bestian, thanks for the donation. Uh, Christine saying somebody's trying to get my attention. Where? Where are they trying to get my attention? Seeing uh, Christine, could you tell me that?
Uh, Jermaker made a donation and said, Free Dixie Normus. Thank you, Jermaker. And uh, Oak 1971 uh, said, Gary Johnson quote, I know by our geography, but thank you for the don donation, Oak. So, all right, let's sum up what we know. We've been hearing about an hour ago, we started seeing videos come out of people saying, hey, uh, we're observing some sort of projectiles or jets flying over Lebanon on the way to Syria. So those videos started coming out about an hour ago. I saw a bunch of those coming out and being posted. Uh, I'll give you an example of one. Let me just find it here for you, and then I'll, I'll show you an example of it. So here's an example of one of the videos that was coming about, uh, started coming out about an hour ago uh, from Conflict News. They say unverified footage purporting to show projectiles and skies over Lebanon. So that does look like something, something going through the sky. Uh, so a number of these videos came out about an hour ago. And then about 20 minutes after that, there were a bunch of reports saying uh, explosions heard in Syria, uh, attack on Syria, Syrian state TV is reporting attack on a base in Syria. So we've seen a number of reports like that and, and reports from reputable sources saying Syrian media is reporting some sort of attack on a military base there. Uh, but the U.S., uh, the U.S. is uh, U.S. officials have denied this tonight, and I'll show you a couple of instances of that. I've seen two different instances of this. Uh, a CNN producer posted this: that uh, a senior administration official tells CNN reports tonight from the region claiming U.S. Tomahawk, miss, tomahawk missiles have struck targets in Syria are is not, are not true. And then the Wall Street Journal's um, Dion Nissenbaum said. Pentagon officials say there is no truth to reports that U.S. has launched an attack against Assad bases in Syria. So uh, military seems to be denying this. Both the administration and the Pentagon is denying it. That doesn't mean there wasn't some sort of strike. I saw an interesting post from uh, Laura Rosen. She says, told T-4 military airport reportedly struck in eastern Homs overnight was launch point for a drone that entered Israel a few weeks ago, which... Got us start, got me started to think, oh, could this be one of Israel's periodic strikes on Israel tonight? Israel's periodic strikes on Syria tonight that was mistaken for a U.S. strike. Don't know. Uh, as I said before, I'd be surprised if a U.S. strike happened the night before the, US, the U.N. Security Council is supposed to meet on Syria. That would seem a little strange to me. Uh, if you're hearing more on this, give me a shout on Twitter, at Lookner, at L-O-O-K-N-E-R. Uh, okay, we saw that video already. This is new. This was sent to me from NCWV Weather. Uh, it's a tweet from someone named Paul Antonopoulos, who's an editor at Fort Rush, Fort Russia News, Fort Russ News. He claims, he says, Syrian media says, Israel, Israel was responsible for the attack on the airbase. Look at that. He says, I can't confirm this, he says Syrian media says Israel was responsible for the attack on the T-4 airbase. Uh, he also says Syrian media says that the Syrian military knocked out eight Israel missiles, okay? But, but, he also says a uh, U.S. defense official has said that there were no explosions at any military base in Syria. So who knows what to believe at this point? Maybe this is all one big false alarm. It does sound like a lot of people are reporting the Syrian media has said there's been some sort of attack, but we don't know if there actually has been. So U.S. is denying any sort of attack tonight. Syrian media reportedly is claiming there's some sort of attack that happened, and we're trying to figure out what, uh, what is going on. And let me just show you something really quick. I'll keep an eye on this as well. Uh, real quick, um, 
Uh, Bill Nelson posted this. Senator Bill Nelson of Florida said, just got off the phone with State Representative Keon McGee. Several people dead in Liberty City. Apparently assault weapons used. So uh, I'll keep an eye on that. I don't really know much more about that right now. It might just be one of these unfortunate kind of shootings that happens every day in uh, in the United States. But uh, I'll let you know if I hear anything more about that. People keep posting this video, which is supposedly of Syrian air defense, supposedly intercepting a cruise missile, and I just, I don't see anything happen in the video. I see a little light through fly through the sky. I see that thing fly through the sky. And then there's anything, oh, there it is, there it is. So, supposedly, a couple different people have posted this and claim it's a Syrian air defense intercepting a cruise missile, but I can't speak to that, whether that's really what it is. I don't even know if this was taken tonight, to be honest with you. So I'm just seeing people posting this video again and again and again. So I'm showing it to you. Hang on one second here. Let me just refresh something. So we are covering these reports of some sort of attack in Syria tonight, which the American government is denying that they were responsible for anything. So we don't know if anything happened in Syria tonight. We don't. No idea. Let me show you this, uh, this, this video. We've already seen it, but I'll show it to you again. Uh, Riam Dalati posted it, uh, this one, from the BBC. Actually, I'm going to follow him right now because he might be... Oh, I am following him, so that's why... He's, I'm following him. That's why it's on my timeline. Um, it says, unconfirmed sighting of low-flying cruise missile over uh, Jornier, Lebanon. Meanwhile, pro-regime Facebook media claiming loud, frightful bangs near Homs and air defense shooting at targets in Lebanese airspace. So here's that video we saw it before of, of supposedly a missile going... We don't know if it was a missile. Now, Riam Dalati from BBC also says, pro-regime Facebook page with known links to Syrian army, military intelligence says Israel was behind attack on TFR Air Base. Several cruise missiles shot down over Shoeirat in Homs countryside. So a pro-regime Facebook page is claiming that Israel was responsible for some sort of missile attack tonight on Syria. All unconfirmed at this point. Rebecca made a donation. Thank you, Rebecca. We appreciate it. Your donations are what keep us on the air. You know, tonight, this news is happening. All these reports about uh, uh, airstrike in Syria. CNN is showing uh, a documentary on... Let's see, what's their documentary on? They were showing a Kennedy's one before. This, now, it's, now it's a one on, on the Pope. And then... Uh, MSNBC, are they covering it? MSNBC is uh, showing a documentary on Apple changing the world. And Fox News is showing a pre-taped show with Mark Levin. So none of the mainstream media cut in tonight and talked anything about this at all. Uh, but we are showing it to you here. So if you like that there's some place behind the mainstream media that even though we don't have hundreds of millions of dollars, we actually work on weekends and weekend evenings and show you this stuff. If you like having that, uh, you can support us and donate because we, we rely on you to stay on the air. We don't have lots of big corporate money like these huge news channels do. You can always donate by going to the bottom of the YouTube chat, click on the dollar sign at the bottom of the YouTube chat, uh, the little dollar sign there, or go to rsbn.tv slash donate, rsbn.tv slash donate. You make it possible for us to be on the air and actually come on the air when there's an important news when no one else is coming on the air, when in fact they have uh, big buildings in New York and different cities and thousands of people working for them and hundreds of millions of dollars, but, but they don't come on the air when news like this happens. Anyways. I guess they can't cover the news on Sunday night. But we're here for you. We're here for you.
Okay, uh, here's a little update from Joyce Karam. She says, Syrian state media says U.S. suspected missiles on military airport near Homs. Pentagon says, didn't come from us. White House meeting for options. Security Council meeting on Syria tomorrow. Okay, this is new from the Intel Crab. Intel Crab is claiming several pro-regime Syria soldiers have been killed, killed in possible Israeli Defense Force airstrikes on the T-4 airbase. So we've seen a number of reports now suggesting that there might have been a strike on an airbase in Syria, but it was done by Israel. Mr. Anderson made a donation and said hashtag unconfirmed. Thank you, Mr. Anderson. So a bunch of reports now are saying, uh, oh, and here's another one. Uh, Josh Kaplan says, military source says several fatalities resulted from missile strikes on T-4 base in Syria, according to pro-Assad media. But maybe this was an Israeli strike. Now, Josh Kaplan retweeted this February post from February report post by uh, by the by the Israeli Defense Force, and they said in February. I'm saying February, but it's February. I'm I'm losing my mind. February post. Uh, uh, for a long time, Iran and the Quds Force have been operating with the backing of Syrian forces and the approval of the Syrian regime from the Syrian T-4 air base near Tadmor. Now, supposedly, this is the base. Supposedly, this is the base that was attacked tonight. That's what the Syrian media says. Uh, and the Israeli Defense Force is saying in February... I don't know. Is it? I, I'm saying February. I'll get it again. I, I this. I've really lost my mind tonight, where I can't figure out if there are multiple pronunciations of the months of February, uh, and maybe I just stopped pronouncing it one way and started pronouncing it another. So, anyways, I'm really my mind is not working. Yes, uh, according to the dictionary, it is pronounced both ways. February and February. So I'll just go with both of them. Anyways, uh, so maybe Israel. They're on record on their Twitter feed as saying, hey, uh, Iran and the, court and the Quds Force have been operating from this base. Maybe they struck that base tonight. That's what happened. Let's see here. Uh, AP is saying, okay, Associated Press now is saying, Syrian news agency... Air defenses confronted missile attack on an air base in central Syria, shot down eight missiles. That is from the Associated Press. So Syrian news, agency are, Syrian news agencies are definitely saying this. I'm guessing it's not the U.S. I mean, I, I can't imagine there would have been a U.S. attack tonight, you know, how long ago would it have been? An hour ago? And that they don't, and they deny it? That's not something very us -y to do, to deny an attack that was theirs. So, uh, let's see here. Uh, Nathan J. Hunt, who I respect, he says, what currently is known from reports coming out of Syria. Earlier reports indicated jets crossed from Lebanon into Syrian airspace. Short while later, air bases came under air attack with reports of Syrian anti-aircraft operating in area. U.S. officials says current strikes not involved, uh, by, did not involve U.S. So, uh, let's see here. Sura, which that this is this is an unconfirmed report from this uh, news outlet Sura. They say over 12 Syrian troops killed and 30 injured on cruise missile strikes on T4 air base in Syria. Can't confirm that for you. Don't know. Fox News now has finally reported airstrikes hit Syria after deadly chemical attack. However, they're not reporting that the U.S. is denying it. I don't think CNN has even tweeted, tweeted in about it. Uh, 
Um, Luis Martinez from ABC says, U.S. official says social media reports that there are tomahawk strikes or U.S. airstrikes underway in Syria are false. So I think it's pretty safe to say at this point these were not U.S. strikes because we have the U.S. has denied it to Wall Street Journal, ABC, and CNN have all been told by the administration of the Pentagon that there were no U.S. strikes tonight. So it looks like perhaps if there was a strike, it was an Israeli strike. Associated Press now reporting this. U.S. officials, the United States is not carrying out airstrikes in Syria. No U.S. airstrikes tonight in Syria. So that is, uh, that's pretty definitive right there. No U.S. airstrikes in Syria tonight. Maybe uh, an Israeli airstrike. They've been known to strike targets in Syria before Israel, so it looks like maybe we had something like that happen. By the way, if you want to know when we're coming on the air with these breaking news videos, we do them all the time. Unlike the mainstream media, we do work on Sunday night. Um, you can uh, follow and subscribe to us on our different social media platforms. On YouTube, we're at uh, Right Side Broadcasting. On Facebook, Right Side Broadcasting. On uh, Periscope, we're at RSBN TV. And on Twitter, we're at RSB Network. So to sum up what we know so far, in the last hour, there were a number of reports coming out about missiles and or air, airplane strikes going on in Syria. Uh, the U.S. has now denied it. Uh, but it looks like the Syrian government is saying there was some sort of strike on an air base in Syria. So it might be the case that that was some sort of Israeli strike, uh, which they do periodically on Syria, uh, instead of a U.S. strike. It might have been a false alarm for a U.S. strike. That would be my best guess right now as to what happened. Just checking some more sources here. Uh, we are hearing that state media is claiming in Syria that there's been some sort of airstrike there. And as the Associated Press uh, said that Syrian news agency says uh, air defense has confronted missile attack on air base in central Syria, shot down eight, eight missiles, but those were not from the U.S. apparently. Thank you to our moderators who've been moderating tonight. Uh, we have Lynn Jean and Jude are there right now. Uh, Real Frank, we really appreciate your hard work and common sense and Gleno on the website. Thank you for moderating. Now, uh, this is a researcher from Germany. He also says, who says, Israeli jets are bombing Hamas targets in northern Gaza right now. Hmm, interesting. Uh, now, that happens periodically, too. Uh, but I wonder, you know, could Israel have launched sort of combined strikes tonight on both Gaza and Syria? Don't know. That's not all too uncommon for them to do something like that. Reuters now saying U.S. officials deny reports of U.S. strike on Syria. Several U.S. officials said on Sunday there were no truth to reports that U.S. military had launched airstrikes against a Syrian government airbase. The U.S. denial... Uh, followed a report by Syrian state television of loud explosions heard near the T-4 airfield in the Syrian city of Homs in the early hours of Monday that was believed to have been targeted in a suspected U.S. missile strike. But it turned out the U.S. is denying that it was them who did this. Uh, 
I'm just checking some different things here. Thank you, Robert uh, Rainier. Uh, he says, uh, for the donation, he says, Steve, YouTube slow mode is on, plus spammers in YouTube chat. Well, um, the slow mode happened for me too, and then it went away. So if you're getting slow mode on YouTube chat, try closing your YouTube and opening it again. Uh, oh, now it just went on for me. Okay. Now slow mode went on. Now I think they, they, we, ugh, they just did this thing again. Is chat working yet? Test. Okay, chat seems to be working again. All right. So the moderators, we have moderators who do a great job, uh, you know, uh, uh, deleting the spam comments. So thank you, moderators. If you're hearing anything new, feel free to follow me on Twitter, at Lookner, at L-O-O-K-N-E-R. Also, I do post about breaking news all the time on my Twitter, even when we're not on the air. So if you like breaking news stuff, you can follow me on Twitter, at Lookner. Uh, to repeat, the Syrian news agency says air defenses confronted missile attack on air base in central Syria, shot down eight missiles according to Associated Press, but U.S. officials are saying the United States is not carrying out these airstrikes. So if there were airstrikes, I'm guessing maybe it was Israel. Our viewer, Ronnie K says, I'm not finding any, any, any confirmations or denials from Israel on the airstrikes anywhere on social media. Yeah, me neither. I've seen nothing from Israel posting about this at all. Uh, and I've seen several reports like this. Oops, that doesn't, it's not there anymore. I had seen reports claiming that state media was saying uh, people might have died in the uh, Syrian soldiers might have died or Syrian affiliated soldiers might have died in the airstrike tonight, but I can't confirm that. Thank you, Slippery Rock number nine for the donation. Slippery Rock made a donation and said, God bless and protect us all. MAGA WWG1 WGA, whatever that means. So it looks like this might have been a false alarm in terms of being a U.S. Uh, a U.S. Um, strike tonight. That's not to say there won't eventually be a U.S. strike. Just catching up on some messages here. But multiple news sources saying U.S. denies anything. AP says it, Wall Street Journal, CNN. Uh, they're all saying CBS. I think CBS said it too, but I know the others said it. They're all saying, uh, uh, deny, saying the U.S. government is denying that they did anything tonight militarily in Syria. Another story, as we cover other news tonight, just keeping you updated about News Alert HQ. They claim a uh, bus hits overpass on Southern State Parkway in Long Island, New York. There's a large number of emergency officials on scene. No word yet on number of injuries. So I'll keep an eye on that as well. Uh, yeah, and just so you know, they said, again, we're not going to, we'll keep it on the focus on this right now, but they say top of bus sheared off after serious crash on Long Island. So anyways, I'll keep an eye on that. 
Macho Man Randy, Randy Savage made a donation saying, I bet Steve is secretly jacked. He is not. All right, well, to sum up, let's sum up what happened. Let's sum this up, okay? Give me one second and I'll sum it up. So, in sum, what happened is I would say between an hour and an hour and a half ago, uh, we started seeing videos come out of uh, reported projectiles or aircraft flying loudly over Lebanon toward Syria. One of the videos, uh, was, which was shown a lot, was this video here, uh, which Riam Dalati of BBC said it's an unconfirmed sighting of low-flying cruise missile over Lebanon. So I'll play this for you to see. So those videos started coming out and I started seeing other videos on the internet of people saying, hey, I saw, there's video of planes flying over Lebanon on the way to Syria. So these rumors started flying around. And then about 20 minutes after that, we started seeing some reports of explosions and reports saying Syrian state media reports, there's an attack on a, a military base there uh, with missiles and that the U.S. is responsible. Then after we saw those reports, we started seeing denials from the U.S. that they were doing anything at all. So, for example, we saw this one from the Wall Street Journal's uh, Dion Nissenbaum. Pentagon officials say there's no truth to reports that the U.S. has launched an attack against Assad bases in Syria. So, now, the Syrian media is still reportedly saying that there was some sort of attack tonight on a base there. Um, excuse me. Hang on one second. I'll show you. So according to the BBC, they say that Syrian state media said strikes did hit a Syrian airfield tonight. Uh, so we're wondering if this maybe was Israel because Israel does attack Syrian targets once in a while. And as Laura Rosen said, she said, uh, she was told the T-4 military airport reportedly struck in Eastern Alms overnight was launch point for drone that entered Israel a few weeks ago. So maybe this was an air, Israeli airstrike on a Syrian base that was, um, it was a false alarm and people thought it was a U.S. strike, but it wasn't. Modima Rose made a donation, said, keep up the great work. Thank you, Modima Rose. Very nice of you. And, uh, and Gage, Gage Mitchison said great coverage on the Syria situation. Thank you, Gage. Gage thinks there's going to be a military strike in the next week from the U.S. Uh, what was I going to show you? I was going to show you one more thing. Yeah, so... The AP just tweeted out, you know, uh, for 14 minutes ago, a U.S. officials say the U.S. is not carrying out airstrikes in Syria. So that's the latest. It looks like there might have been some sort of strike in Syria, maybe carried out by Israel, but not by the U.S. False alarm in terms of thinking it's a U.S. strike. So that's what we have. Uh, U.N. Security Council's meeting on Syria tomorrow. I've always thought that if there was going to be a U.S. strike, it would come after the U.N. Security Council meeting and not before it. Uh, so we'll certainly keep an eye on the news for you and keep you up to date on developments going on. But it looks like, at least for tonight, this situation is over in the sense of we're not hearing about any more strikes, and uh, it looks like the U.S. was not doing anything tonight. So there's that. 
Um, if I, uh, if I, if we hear of more tonight, if there's something big that happens tonight, we'll come back on the air. Also, I will come back on, I will be tweeting about stuff if I hear about it. So you can write to me, you can follow me on Twitter at Lookner at L-O-O-K-N-E-R. And uh, th- big thanks again to our donors. Uh, so as I've been pointing out, uh, as far as I can tell, no mainstream news channel ever broke into coverage tonight to cover this at all. They were all doing their documentaries and their pre-tape shows. Um, but we did, and we really like to come on the air and bring you the latest. And tonight was a night where you couldn't even find any news about this. If you were watching CNN or MSNBC or Fox, you would have seen nothing about this tonight. So we, appre- we, like, we appreciate you allowing us to bring you the news. And uh, we are viewer supported, though. So if you like this kind of coverage and you want to see more of it, please uh, consider donating to Right Side Broadcasting. You can always donate by going to the bottom of the YouTube chat. Click on the dollar sign at the bottom of the YouTube chat room or go to rsbn.tv slash donate, rsbn.tv slash donate. Also, follow and subscribe to us on all of our platforms so you know when we're coming on the air live. It could be at any time. Uh, Facebook, and, uh, Facebook and YouTube were right side broadcasting. Um, Periscope, RSBN TV, and Twitter at RSB Network. So a big thanks to the moderators tonight. I know there were some spam messages going on in the chat, but our moderators do a great job. Thank you. Uh, I know Jude and who was there? Jude and uh, Real Frank was there. Was it Lynn Jean and Jan? Maybe I'm forgetting who was there exactly, but great. And Common Sense and Glenn on the website. Great job, moderators. And thank you, people, for saying thank you. People like uh, Jean is saying thanks. And... um, and somebody whose name is in an Asian language I can't read said mainstream media sucks. Thanks for good reporting. Thank you for saying that. Thank you, Serene Repose. Um, Spider Bip says dying legacy media is pathetic. Hashtag sad. Thank you, Idan the Man. I'm just going to check the Facebook chat room real quick because I haven't had a chance. Thank you, Liz Bellin, in the Facebook chat room for saying thank you. Thank you, Omega Surprise. Um, Tom O'Neill, thanks. Rob Kino. Uh, And in the Periscope chat, thank you, NCAA 6464, Melody 1776, uh, and everybody else there in the Periscope chat. Oh, Lynn Jean is in the uh, moder- is in the chat room, too. Thank you, Lynn Jean, for moderating, helping to moderate. Thank you, Dennis Casey. Thank you, Dirt Doctor. Thank you, Mama LaGuardia in the Periscope. And Alex Thomas in Facebook, thank you. Oh, and JC is there, too. Thank you, JC, for helping to moderate. All right, we're going to wrap up this stream right now. Uh, so, in a sense, it was a false alarm. But there was, it seems like there may very well have been a strike in Syria tonight. It just wasn't by the U.S. and it wasn't related. I don't believe it was related to the chemical attacks if there was a strike. But uh, will we come on the air and report when stuff is happening anyway? Even if there's like big rumors about stuff, we want you to know about it. And uh, we want to bring you the latest. So we hope we've been helpful tonight in um, bringing you the news. So thank you for joining us. Uh, here at Right Side Broadcasting. Uh, I will be traveling a bit tomorrow because I am going to be in Boston for a week or so visiting my family. I do have a, there's a studio in Boston I can broadcast from, but just know that if there's big news that happens tomorrow, you might not see me on the air because I might be on a plane uh, and I can't do this from a plane. So uh, just be aware of that, but I will, while I'm in Boston, uh, have access to my studio there and uh, be able to bring you news from there coverage from there. For now, I am Steve Luckner. This is Right Side Broadcasting. Thank you for joining us tonight for our coverage. We will see you soon for more with more news. And uh, for now, have a great evening, everyone.